I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. Just as kids are heading back to school, Marion County's COVID-19 transmission level has moved into the high category. According to CDC guidance, that means people should mask up while indoors. WRTV reached out to 11 school districts in the county. Each one tells us masks remain optional. Our Nikki Dementry asked IUPUI epidemiologist Shandy Durth what she thinks parents should do. Just if I'm a parent, what should I take away from this news about the high community level um, from the CDC right now? So please go ahead and get your child vaccinated. That's the best protection that you can offer your child. That's even better than a mask. The Marion County Health Department sent guidance to schools that aligns with CDC guidance. The department says it will continue to evaluate and communicate COVID-19 risk levels to each school in the county. Developing a bicyclist was hit and killed around 830 Friday night near Michigan Street and Goodlett Avenue. That's on the city's west side. The driver left the scene, but IMPD says they have since been found. Police are still investigating. We're hearing from an Indianapolis homeowner on the northwest side who shot a man who broke into his home. But incredibly, this is not the first time he's found himself in the same situation. In November of 2014, Howard Murphy shot a man who broke in. That person was arrested. The same thing happened Friday morning in the same home. IMPD says the intruder died from his injuries. Murphy believes it was the same person who ransacked his place a few days ago. It's depressing because you know you you work so hard to get what you want for somebody to come in and just take it you know in a matter of hours or minutes and you know I feel like this you know if I can get out here and work and buy the things that you know everybody else got then you should be able to do it too Murphy was not charged back in 2014. An attorney who focuses on Second Amendment rights expects the same outcome in this case. That's because of Indiana's Castle Dock, which allows homeowners to protect themselves from unlawful entries, even with deadly force. Police have not said whether Murphy will face any charges.